Good evening. I'm Stefina Yuli, and you're watching the Yale Daily Minute. The two Yale researchers working in Liberia have returned to New Haven and have reversed their decision to sequester themselves. Initially, the students decided to voluntarily sequester themselves at home for 21 days, the incubation period for the Ebola virus. But after careful consideration, a team of physicians and administrators concluded that a 21-day sequestration was unnecessary, as the students had never come into contact with Ebola patients. Following this decision, the students will remain in close contact with medical personnel and follow CDC recommendations, which includes self-monitoring for signs and symptoms of Ebola for 21 days. According to recent USA Today rankings, Yale's history and political science majors are among the best in the country. The magazine's 2014 rankings gave Yale's history major first place, beating out Ivy League rivals like Harvard and Princeton. While Yale's faculty members were pleased with the recognition, many expressed concerns about the magazine's method of evaluating college rankings. Professors said that the rankings focused too much on starting salaries and too little on the less quantifiable skills such majors give to students. This fall, USA Today also released rankings of the nation's top accounting, biology, and math majors. On Friday, U.S. Senator Chris Murphy gathered with medical experts to address the alarmingly high rate of student-athlete concussions. Every year, as many as 3.8 million Americans suffer concussions in recreational and athletic activity, according to a study conducted by the American Medical Society for Sports Medicine. Brain injury represents a troubling problem for athletic programs across the nation, more so because they are difficult to diagnose. Researchers are just now discovering the long term effects, and they are far from inconsequential. Studies show that concussions effects can be cumulative, leading to permanent damage in cognitive functioning. Find out more in tomorrow's feature. That's your news in a minute. See tomorrow's paper for more.